in this video, I want to share a quick tip of what not to do when 3D printing, uh, coming from my own experience. That is, look at this piece. Okay, this piece of filament, this entire length is stuck in my hot end. Okay, so the reason is what I later figured out is probably my cheap filament that I bought from the Install brand. This is the Inland PLA from Microcenture. It costs $9.99 and I thought I got a great deal, but as I am prototyping my magazine quick loaders, okay, I finished with my design and I was uh, printing the final version, which is right here. And I loaded about 12 of those magazine quick loaders into the printer using really high quality print settings. 0.08 millimeter line size, and it takes 18 hours to finish this print job. So I loaded it up, I went out, and I went to bed and sleep, and I came back at 99%. I got an error message, uh, which I'm gonna show you guys on the screen. It says my extruder has overheated and failed to load, and it asked me to investigate why. So I thought it was the extruding gear that pushes and you know pulls, uh, and I did, unload and load a couple of times and I took the hot end out, but I didn't realize that um, this much of the piece was stuck in my hot end. So at the very end, I confirmed my extruder is working fine. It's actually um, grinding and loading um, all the filaments okay with different colors. I pulled my hot end out while wow, it's hot. And this is what came out from the hot end. This, this super long piece was stuck in the hot end and it was not extruding. So this is what happened. And uh, so next time, if you get an error message that says extruder overloaded, whatever, the first thing you should check is if your hot end is clogged or not by cheap filaments. And lesson for you guys, um, and also for me, myself, is do not cheap out and buy the cheapest filament out there. Thankfully, all my remaining filaments that I bought is either bamboo brand or slightly higher quality from Polymaker or Sanlu, which are reputable brands. So, and again, I was overly trusting on the store brand and I was trying to save a few dollars, but it ends up almost ruining my entire job after 18 hours. Thankfully, it stopped at 99%. And uh, this job is pretty much finished with just one last layer of the top surface that didn't finish but it's okay since I printed 100% infill, this is no issue, okay? So hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll share more what not to do when 3D printing videos out for you guys. Thanks and take care.